Hey guys, it's Tim and welcome to Cobble Space Program. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a satellite. This is uh, my design and it's uh, Mark 1. Uh, it's the first design I've made. And so you're going to start with the command pod Mark 1. And you're going to go for uh, Control, SES module, put that on the bottom. Utility, second page, Mark 16 parachute. You're going to do science, you're going to take a community run 8888, stick that on the bottom. You're going to go into structural, second page, stack the coupler, put that on the bottom. Under that, you're going to go to propulsion, and you're going to take an FLT 400 fuel tank and you put that on the bottom. And then you're going to take an LV 909 liquid fuel engine and put that on the bottom there. And structural again, stack the coupler, put that on the bottom. And then you're going to go back into propulsion, the same fuel tank. And you're going to put four of them on there. Then you're going to put a LVT30 liquid fuel engine on there. And now what you're going to do for these is you're going to put the bottom engine on first, then the decoupler, then this engine with the decoupler so it goes super fast, and then this decoupler and then the parachute. Now the parachute is just for emergencies. If your rocket doesn't make it to space, then um, you still have the parachute to try and land. So we're going to put this on the launch pad and hopefully we can get it to work. I've tried to record this about three times now and each time I keep uh, forgetting because I'm trying to do two things at the same time um, and I just keep forgetting what I'm doing and then it doesn't work. I run out of fuel and I can't get it into good orbit so hopefully it'll work this time or else I will kick myself in the face and be really annoyed. So we're going to get on to the launch pad and see if it works. So we're on the launch pad, now what you're going to do is you're going to go into full throttle and turn the SAS module on with T. Now you're going to press space and you're going to go up. Now you want to try and keep this, uh, the, the orange dot, in the center of the, uh, the blue ball. Try and keep it in the center as much as possible until you get to 11 kilometers. Okay, we're about three and a half kilometers. Seven kilometers. So I'm not talking very much. I'm trying to do two things at the same time, as I said. Uh, but I'm trying to pay more attention to the game this time so I can get this right and finally upload this freaking video. So we're about 10k now, so what you're going to do is you can turn the throttle all the way down to about a third and you're going to move, you're going to turn the SES module off and you're going to move the orange dot to about 90 here. I've shot that as I always do. Get it to about 90. There we go. That's good enough. Press T to turn on the SAS module again. And there we go. Full throttle again. Until these fuel tanks run out of fuel. Try to keep it on about 90 because uh, that's what you need to try and get out of the atmosphere and to make a good orbit. So here we go, out of fuel and off we go. Now this little bit's uh, much easier to control because it's much lighter and uh, this, 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 this engine does not need as much fuel. This engine doesn't need as much fuel so uh, it will last longer and it's much lighter so it's easier to control 
Um, so here we go, we're almost out of the atmosphere. And what we're going to do is you're going to get to, uh, once you get into space, you're going to float around until you hear the, hear the space music, and then uh, you know you're in the, the right position. Here we go, we can start decreasing the throttle to about halfway now. Keep it at 90 though. And we are in space, so we can take the throttle off until we hear the space music. Try to keep it at 90 though. So I just wait for the music. There we go. So now you're going to press M for the map. And so as you can see here, you have the Kerbin Pope's. I don't know how to say it. Um, I, have a, I've, I know what it's called, I just can't say it. So you're going to speed up time until you get to that point. Here we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stay at 90. Make sure you stay at 90. And you go full throttle. Now uh, this should this should increase your orbit. Now decrease your throttle, turn it off again. Go back into the map and wait till you get back to this little point. Here we go. Now go back to 90 and put your throttle on full again. And there you go. There's the orbit. Now just wait for it to get a little bit bigger. There we go. I usually leave it at that and then just wait for my fuel to run out. There it goes. I'll detach this. Oops. And you have an orbit. Now, I usually like it like this because you have one part of your ship that is very close to the planet, and then another part is going to be really far away. I usually I I like it like that because then it will be one part where you're flying across, you're going to be really close, so you can see it really well, and then the other part you're kind of more in space, and it it just looks really nice. Um, so now, what you're going to do? on your little uh, command pod here you go the communitron you're gonna do toggle and there you go there's your satellite now that is gonna fall forever so I thank you so much for watching guys I hope you can get your satellite to work as well um, it's been really fun making this it's been pretty fun making this video and I hope that uh, you enjoy it and I hope that you can get it to work as well uh, we didn't need the parachute the parachute is only for emergencies if you don't make it up you can still have a safe landing look at this guy's he's high as fuck and um, so thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe for more of these type of videos 
um, like, share, and favorite to support us, and then we know we you want more. And also, please comment whatever game you want, if, or if you want more of this, or if you don't want more of this, maybe you want something else. Maybe you don't want satellites, maybe you want moon landers. Where is the moon? Over there. I've never actually made it to the moon, because it's bloody difficult. Uh, so I'm gonna look it up on uh, some other. I'm gonna look it up on the, you know, the interwebs, the YouTubes, and try and find out an easy way to get up there. So I thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video.